and welcome. So I sat down today to do an updated watercolor palette tour that will be coming up on my channel, but then I realized I have a box that I should probably open first before doing that. So today we are going to open a fun box. So a very large box came from Kimberly Crick. And if you don't know who she is, then definitely go check out her channel. I will link it up in the corner for you and in the description box below. If you love watercolor and you love pigments and you want to learn all about them, she is the resource for you. And her website is also amazing. I'll put that on the screen for you. I sent her some supplies a while ago to try out that she saw on my channel and she sent me some goodies back. So let's see what's in here. Okay, in we go. Ooh, it is stuffed full. Arteza Willow Charcoal Sticks. Oh my goodness. That's a messy supply. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. That'll be interesting or terrifying. Okay, so this is stuff that I sent her and she sent back to me. So she wanted to try out the Holbein Acrylic Gouache. And I also sent her the Turner Gouache in Scarlet and a tube of Windsor & Newton Naples Yellow Gouache that I had. And it looks like she put one additional one in here for me. So let's see what that is. Oh, a Rosa Studio acrylic color, Carmine. Interesting. So yes, when I ordered these Holbein gouache, I didn't know enough about them at that time. It was a very long time ago. And I thought I was getting regular gouache. And I was so disappointed to learn, as I learned more, that they are acrylic gouache or acrylic gouache. So basically just matte acrylic. So she says, Holbein might have made a binder additive upgrade in the newer sets, but also since acrylic air dries and becomes more sticky as it dries, it could be that the older acrylic set is just slowly drying out in the tube and that's why it doesn't paint as smoothly. So hopefully we'll see a video from her about these sets coming up. Oh boy. Oh, this looks fun. Okay. I have all my palettes over on the desk here, so they're kind of in the way. <laughs> I was ready to do that video, I told told ya. Oh my goodness, okay, this looks like an incredible amount of fun. Pull these out. Sennelier Abstract, this is that acrylic ink. Oh, I've never seen such tiny bottles before. They're so cute. <laughs> what is it with us humans and small things? We uh, just think they're adorable and cute. So six 12 mil inks, and those are the colors right there. Okay, that will be super fun to play with. And then she sent me a cobalt violet swatch sheet so that I can put it in my window because she wants to see how they compare to her ones in the state that she's from because they have different sunlight than we do, obviously. Nice. So here's one to put in the window. So this is how she keeps it away from the window. If you saw some of my Lightfast swatch sheets, I had some dotting on some of the swatches and I think that's from them touching the window because I actually have mine taped to the window. So this is her solution. It's very innovative. <laughs> Cardboard, a couple of game pieces, and then it can be taped to the window. It keeps this away from the window, obviously, because of those game pieces. It puts a gap. So I'll put this one in the window, this one in the drawer, and we'll see how they do over time. Looks like we have several different brands. If we put it together like that, Roman Schmal, Prodigal Sons, Prodigal Sons, Da Vinci, Turner, Imgram, another Imgram, Windsor & Newton, Accor, and a Mission Gold. Thank you, Kimberly. This will be really fun to see what happens in the window. Oh, and then we have Yasutomo Metallic watercolors. I really like metallic. I assume these are watercolors. For some reason, they're just really fun and they did not stay in their little tubes. <laughs> so we would just be guessing where they're supposed to be long, but that's okay. We'll just put them wherever we want, right? <laughs> so you can see the sheen on them probably. That will be fun to try out. What else do we have in here? Oh boy, another big package here. Oh goodness. So this is a package of gouache and a package of watercolors. She said they smell very stinky. Well, let's open this up and see what it looks like. Practically new tubes. Nice. I only have five Imgram gouache right now and a set of 24 Savoir Faire, which are very low grade gouache. So anyway, she says these are also mediocre gouache. This brand makes nice brushes though. Okay, here's the watercolor. 
Yeah, nearly brand new. That will be fun to try. Here we are. Let's see what this is. Oh, oh wow. So this is one of the King Art brushes, a size 12 round. Oh, this is so exciting. I only have one size 12 round, and that's the one I use almost in all of my paintings. Hang on, I'll grab it. Brought it to class last night, so it's in my to-go container here. So this is my Winsor & Newton Cotman size 12 round, and this has the sizing on it, so it's staying together. This one obviously doesn't. Let me get it wet for you. It just happened to have water right here. You can see what it looks like when it's more together. Move this out of the way. So here are the differences in the tips, and obviously this would probably spread out a little more too if it didn't have the sizing in it. I don't really want to put that. Oh, there we go. It's like a little soap, probably. When I I notice when I clean my brushes with like Master's Brush Cleaner and stuff, they do kind of stick together as if they have sizing back in them. So maybe that's what that was. So there we are. If you can see them together. Nice. My This one I actually feel like it's finally maybe starting to get a tiny bit worn out. <laughs> and it will be really fun to try this. Thank you. That was really, really nice. Let's see what else is in there. Here's the next thing. Oh boy. <laughs> You're trying to get me to make my own paint. <laughs> da Vinci Gum Arabic. A liquid form. I've only ever used the Gum Arabic powder. Making these Pearl X paints myself actually. So I used gum arabic powder with the Prolex powder and added water and made these little pans of paint. That's the only gum arabic I've ever used. We have moonlight gold sparkling paste. It can be applied by spatula, brush, or sponge. Oh boy. <laughs> wow, that looks interesting. Ooh, that's what it looks like. Put on a piece of paper. Huh. To come up with a some kind of use for that. Oh, and then we get to try the ne Nevskaya Palitra Art Masking Fluid for extra fine artist watercolor. So White Knight's Masking Fluid. Oh, and it hasn't been opened and I'm going to leave it that way. No, we are not done. <laughs> There's more in here. Oh, wow. So yeah, I was just looking into the Rosa Gallery paints actually because now that things are happening in Russia and Ukraine, <laughs> It might be good for me to pick up a few of these paints if I ever want to try them anytime soon. So this is the dot card of the Rosa Gallery paints. And there's quite a bit of paint left on some of them still, so be curious if we could do any of our dot card paintings with these or not. I do a, little, a fun little series with dot card paintings that I'll link in the corner for you to check out in case you're new. Fun, thank you. And what else? Last day. Last a lot of stuff. Okay. <laughs> So, let's see what this is. I'm pretty sure she told me about this, so we'll see what I think it is. <laughs> Whole swatch card of Da Vinci paints. Okay, I'm scared to open it because it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> oh wow. So this is one of those silicone keep wet palette lids. Interesting, okay. So we have some tube paint it looks like that was squeezed out and allowed to dry and then we have some that either came as half pans or she made them into half pans. I assume she made them into half pans because they, yeah, you can tell right here. Anyway, these are awful big slots so separating them into these smaller pans definitely makes sense. Interesting, so all these are going to be Da Vinci paints. I'll take these out for now. So let's take a closer look at the swap sheet and see all the colors we have here. This one says not for use dry, all other colors good, three plus years, not for use dry, discolor, turn brown, no longer re-wet. And that's the manganese violet, the PV16, so that one there, no longer re-wets apparently. I love the way she does her swap sheets and this is who I learned from and how I've started to change my swap sheets so that they look more interesting like this one. Okay, so all these bottom ones, to here anyway, and here, so these are DIY mixes here. Nice. And she has a couple labeled vintage. These are all DIY mixes. Oh, I like some of those colors. Vintage, we have a Daniel Smith Go Tight in there. 
another DIY mix over here. Okay, so I was actually, I have a note on my desk here that says I need to mix this Daniel Smith Go Tight, I don't know how to say that, if I'm saying that properly or not, with my manganese blue that I just got in my Prodigal Sons watercolors haul. So looks like I have some of that now, so we can try that mixture out. That's very, very cool. So it looks like all of these are Da Vinci paints, and then we have the DIY mixes where we may be adding in some other brands, or this one is just Holbein. Okay, Vintage Holbein, Opal Genuine, Mars Red, Holbein, Gray Brown. I don't know what the A and T stands for. Oh, Antique Gray Brown, Antique Opal Genuine, Holbein Antique Pink. Wow, that's a beautiful color. M. Graham White Gouache and Red Rose DIY Mix, Windsor & Newton Payne's Gray, Da Vinci, Thalo Green and Daniel Smith Neutral, maybe. Vermilion and Hansa Yellow Light. Thalo Blue and Green Da Vinci 50-50 mix. The Geotite, or the Goatite I told you about. Quinn Violet and Ultramarine. Anyway, lots of interesting mixes here. Nice, this will be fun to try out. Especially since they are squeezed out of tubes and dried. It will be fun to see how they re-wet. I don't have any Da Vinci paint. And now I have all of this, so I'm really excited to try it out. That'll be a lot of fun. Wow, that was a lot of new stuff to try out. I'm very excited. What do you guys want to see first? Put it in the comments below so that I know what to focus on. I'll probably get to all of it eventually anyway, but I definitely want to see what you guys think. What do you want to see first? Big thank you to Kimberly for sending me these goodies to try and sending some of my stuff back. I really appreciate that. And make sure you subscribe to her channel if you want to see the things of mine that she tried out over there. They're not out yet, but she has so many other videos that are really fascinating about watercolors, so definitely go check that out. I guess it's a good thing I bought black watercolor paper recently so we can try out those metallic watercolors sitting over there. I'm really excited for that. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go for today, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Hello and welcome. So I sat down here today to do an updated watercolor palette tour. That came out weird. <laughs> well, now we have a lot of snooze. Oh my goodness, I can't even talk. Got some sunshine kitties. <laughs> she startled her. And a stuffed fox that my dog's drug in here. She's going to attack her tail. <laughs> Maybe. The sun might be tiring her out too much. <laughs> so cute.